Welcome back guys and we're back again with another tutorial. This time we're going to be going over bees, beehives, uh, bee nests and what you can do with them. So as you just saw the bees then, they just went back into their homes because this is now where they live. This allows a maximum of three bees per nest, uh, whether it's a bee's nest or a bee's hive. You can also attach a bee to a lead. The way it works is that during the day the bees like to come out one by one and they will go around within a 22 block radius and try and find some flowers. They are also partial to sweet berry bushes. They'll basically just go around and find any flowers in uh, the vicinity and as you can see there it drops some pollen after the flowers. Now when they fly over crops it gives a, um, a feature sort of like the bone meal effect. Um, where, where they fly over your crops and they drop pollen, that will make your crops grow a little bit faster. As you can see here, one of the crops um, on the top left is actually growing a little bit faster than the rest. That's because the bees keep going over this particular part and they keep dropping their pollen on it. And this video has been brought to you by our awesome sponsor here at Seekerhost. If you yourself are looking for a Minecraft server, check out Seekerhost. They've got some really good packages and some great gameplay with some no lag servers. They've got Java and Bedrock and you can get going in just a matter of minutes. From DDoS protection and tech support to their very helpful server tutorials, which you can find most things that you're probably going to need for your Minecraft server. Um, I highly recommend these and I use this service myself for all of my servers. Bees won't get angry at you if you're just running around doing nothing. However, if you try and attack um, any one of them, they will all turn around and try and attack you back. As you can see, all their eyes are now angry and they now all hate me. And you don't really want to get on this guy's bad side. However, one thing that you can do to stop this is use a campfire. And of course a glass bottle to actually collect the honey. Now if I just pop a campfire under here and it has now got smoke underneath, I can now easily get my honey. Um, and they won't attack me. And the same applies with the beehive, and not, so it's not just the bee's nest. Honey can of course be used to craft many things from honey blocks to honeycombs, which can be used again for many other things, but I won't go too far into that, because next we'll actually go into the beehives and the bee nests themselves. So as I was saying earlier, if you do actually break any of the hives yourself, um, they will attack you because they're angry. Unfortunately, if you try to break a bee's nest, you won't actually receive the bee's nest, and you'll get a load of angry bees chasing you. You can actually change this by using a silk touch pickaxe um, and this will not only pick up the bees nest however it will pick up the bees with it inside as well the beehive is however craftable now if you are looking to make a honey block you will need to collect four of these honey bottles and you are also able to create honeycomb and honey blocks of course do have their other uses if you're looking for an awesome server to join look no further than the shacks servers here um, it's a group of servers that I've been running for a while um, and we're trying to expand, we're trying to get many things in here and lots of players on because we've made it super fun. So from a survival world with warps, grief protection, item protection within um, your buildings, villager shops where you can come and trade, you can buy things and sell things easily through the server. We also have available shops for players to actually buy themselves and start selling their own items uh, within the server lobby. Love mini games? Well we've got some for you here, so from paintball to hide and seek, um, we've got some pretty well used and uh, pretty cool maps I've got to be honest. From an awesome desert city arena to our classic paintball arena and our brand new tower block arena. Um, we've got multiple levels and you've got to make it and well kill the other team last but not least we have got our toy story map credits to the uh, maker in the description um, and if we just follow the way through here we get taken easily through the portal to this awesome map now who doesn't want to play hide and seek in here so again if you're looking for an awesome server to join don't forget to check out the shack i'll leave a link to the discord and of course the ip address in the description so thanks for watching, for any more videos like this don't forget to check out the Seeker Host website and of course my channel. And I'll see you next time, bye bye.